Now joining me this morning to look at some of the advances in pet food and what the benefits are to our dogs, our regular canine behaviourist Kelly McFarlane and pet nutrition advisor from Yukonuba, Peter Sheasel. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Nice to have you here and also you brought along a little man down here, a little guy down here, I guess he's the taste tester. Absolutely, so this is Buster who's an eight year old beagle. Um, he's nice and relaxed now for a few moments. Um, but yes, if anyone wants to join his fan club and follow him then get onto Instagram, his uh, page is Buster Beagle, bum. Not that you can see him, but he's just down right here. I think that's very, very chilled out. Um, so, Peter, as a pet nutrition advisor, what are some of the key things that you need to look for in your dog's food? Well, first of all, you want to make sure the diet's complete and balanced so that they're getting everything they need. Uh, you also want to look at the life stage they're in. So if they're a puppy, they're going to have very different nutritional needs to, say, a senior dog like Buster. Yeah, and that's really interesting because I only just found out recently that my dog's a senior. As a seven-year-old dog, she's classed now it's as amazing. a senior. Yeah. She's an old lady. Um, I know how she feels sometimes. <laughs> so why is good nutrition so important for our dogs? Nutrition's really important to keep them healthy from the inside out. We all want our dogs to be happy and healthy and performing at their best. So by providing quality nutrition, you're setting them up to succeed. Yeah, and you're making them happy little fellas like Buster Dan Absolutely. Here. Um, so Kelly, what are some of the signs that your dog might be lacking in key nutrients? Oh, a, lot, a lot of people generally notice first their, their actual coat condition. So, you know, their coat looks quite dull, so it's not glossy and really shiny the way it should be. Um, sometimes as well the coat itself can feel a little bit brittle. Um, again, you know, that can happen with dogs with skin conditions, but it's usually a common thing again with, with nutrients. Um, and sometimes checking their weight as well, you know, if they're not able to keep the weight on or are they actually getting a little bit too fat and it's not because you're um, overfeeding them. So, you know, there's just a few little things you can watch, but the biggest giveaway is usually their coat condition. Okay, just to see if it's dull or if it's or if it's looking nice and glossy. Yeah. So Peter, there's been some pretty incredible advances too, hasn't there, made in pet nutrition, yeah. especially at Yukonuba, which has been around for a very long time. I'm very curious though, what does the name actually mean? Well, let me take you back to the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> so jazz was just uh, sort of coming up and with it its own, its own language really. And so you can Uber was actually you can Nuba, which was something that meant the tops or supreme, whether it be, it could be a fast car, it could be a great song, but it meant something really good. Wow, you can Uber. Yeah, sort of thing. you can Uber. Huh. Then in 1969, the founder of you can Uber was looking for something that really matched his great new formula. The, the food itself was unmatched, but he wanted a great name. And so, you can Uber. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and over such a long and successful time in the pet food industry, I mean, what kind of advances have you can Uber made in their dog food? Yeah, well, over the years, we've developed diets for, well, size and lifestyle and, well, sorry, life stages, not mm -hmm. lifestyle, although they are a lifestyle, and um, with a real concentration on active dogs, which has been really great. Oh, wow. Because yeah. all dogs are obviously very different, aren't they? That's absolutely it. And then we've done our homework and uh, we've found that more dogs love the new formula of Yukonuba. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, Kelly, is Buster a fan? What does he think of it? Oh, well, like I say, I mean, I witnessed him this morning eating his breakfast and uh, he happily tucked in. So, yeah, definitely a fan. So which one, which stride is he on? <laughs> He's actually on the senior diet so yeah he's um he's on that twice daily and yeah as i say absolutely tucked in and uh he was also eating his eucanuba treats earlier so <laughs> always <laughs> <really nice. laughs> and who doesn't always have room for treats yeah. um so peter what happens if your dog has tried eucanuba before and didn't like it and wasn't wasn't a fan well that's the great thing with our new formula changes if you've tried it in the past and your dog didn't take to it now's a great time to give it a go and so what sort of changes have been made and why were they made well, we've had a few changes. So one of the first ones was with our, our small puppy kibble. It's now a lot smaller. So for those tiny little mouths, they can, they can really chew. That's really good because I have noticed that in the past. It's good that they need, they just got a little tiny mouth. They need something they that they can really get into, they need don't they? small, yeah. And we've, what other changes have you done? We've had um, a great change. The rest of our diets, we have a sort of S-shaped kibble. That's now more defined defined shape and uh, that really gets into their mouths while they're chewing as well so it really helps with sort of tartar control and things like that and then of course our uh, new packaging which is all looking nice and refreshed. Looks very fancy. Now Kelly is a vet nurse and a canine behaviourist. Uh, you also look at dogs nutritional needs don't you? Is, is you can something that you recommend to your clients? Yeah I mean certainly for myself personally I believe they're definitely one of the leaders um, you know I mean I've been in this industry a, a long time I won't put a figure on that. How long Kelly? Quite a while. <laughs> um, 
And, um, you know, so obviously for me, even being in the UK, it was, um, you know, certainly a well-known brand. Um, secondly, for me, you know, they're definitely a trusted brand. And also, you know, there are definitely premium quality ingredients that they have. So the fact that they do look at the nutritional values of what the animal requires, and again, setting up the, the life stages is really important. And what happens if you're hesitant to buy a whole big bag of it in case your dog's not going to like it or eat it? Oh, look, the best thing, well, as far as I'm concerned, the best thing is, you know, for any consumer, if you're concerned and you think, oh, you know, oh, just not sure if I want to spend that money, then, you know, you can Uber do offer a, a money back guarantee. So if you buy the bag and worst case, you have a fussy dog who really won't eat it, even though I don't believe that will be the case. But if you do, you can go right back to your store and you can get a, a full refund. Excellent. That is yeah. good to know. Hey, and thank you so much for bringing Buster in today. Is he your dog? He is. Oh, Peter, he's just so gorgeous. He's just been chilling out at my feet down here. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Both been a pleasure having you here. Very enlightening too. If you are at home wondering if you should try your dog on Yukonuba, don't forget there is a 100% money back guarantee. And Yukonuba are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba dry food. To download the voucher, you can go to yukonuba.co.nz slash the cafe.